<laughs> How do you feel about joining the MCU? I feel that joining the MCU is an incredible privilege and I'm honored to be welcomed into it with open arms. Um, it definitely feels like one of the more special things I've done in my entire life. So I, I, I definitely feel really good about joining the MCU. Um, I'm excited to the potential where the character is going to go. Um, and I'm just as, as curious as the rest of, of us all are of where he's going to end up. Who do you play and what was appealing about your character? So I play Joaquin Torres. And I think the thing that was most appealing about my character when I first came across him was um, he's got this spark that I think the moment he enters a room, um, he just brings joy. And, um, and I, I'm always curious to see like who are those people that lead and that um, make people feel better by just their presence. So I think that that's something that I definitely saw in the comics that I wanted to try to take into playing him uh, in the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Great. What do we know about Joaquin Torres? What you guys know about Joaquin Torres is that he is so grateful for the opportunity to be able to work with Sam. He's not taking this opportunity for granted and he's gonna make the most of it. And I think that says a lot about who he is as a person and um, and how excited he is to work with an Avenger. Uh, and, and knowing that like a lot of times you only get one shot to really prove yourself. And I think Joaquin takes um, his chance by the horns and then just rides with it. And we'll see where that takes him. Okay, speaking of um, that relationship, describe uh, Joaquin's or the uh, character's relationship with Sam. So Joaquin's, um, okay. Joaquin's relationship with Sam is, um, is a pretty fun one because uh, we have one guy that is a superhero badass and then you have a fan that is very excited to work with him. And it, in working with him, he finds that he has qualities um, that he admires in other people and he discovers it within himself. I think he steps up to the plate and Sam sees that in him and sees some potential um, in order to keep working with him. Because obviously Sam, he could work with whoever. Um, but why does he keep working with Joaquin? I think it's because he sees in him that he's got potential and that he cares and that he's a good person and that he throws himself into the fray. Um, maybe sometimes not when he should, but he still does it anyway. Can you provide a glimpse behind the scenes? What did a typical day look like working alongside Anthony, Sebastian, Kari, and the rest of the cast and crew? So a typical day on set, um, they were all pretty fun and unique, but it would start probably with us getting ready in the wardrobe um, and, and showing up to, to set the first scene of the day and hearing Anthony mid-story, um, leading a group of 10 people in um, an adventure of like the smallest, like the smallest little interaction that he had yesterday outside of Trader Joe's. He would turn into this amazing saga that had everyone um, just like paying attention. And then it would go to then working with Kari and trying to figure out what the scene broke down into and what was the most important things and when we could let it fly and when not. So she'd rein us in. Um, but it was like working with a, a theater repertoire that had been together for years because um, of, of how tight knit the, the Marvel family is. And it was beautiful to be embraced by them and to be brought in um, and almost feel like I didn't miss a beat. So that was, basically a day it would be just uh, just hanging out with family and throwing down a couple stories. Great. What is the benefit of featuring these characters in six episodes on Disney Plus versus a feature film? So what I really liked about the format of the six episode series is that 
you were able to go and learn more about Sam and Bucky in ways that you hadn't in the films. You were able to really sit in um, what their family dynamics were, what their complexes were, what things that they're trying to get over, um, their internal conflict beyond that of um, what we saw in the movies. And I think that that's, it's such a luxury to be able to meet your characters at such a, a cellular level um, in the way that I see that, I see the series as a lot of the times how an actor preps a character of things that don't happen in the story, but they bring into the story. And it's been kind, it's been wonderful to see Anthony bring Sam to life and things that we for sure he had thought about the first time he, he brought him to life, but now he's able to investigate that with, um, with the audience, which I think it's a beautiful luxury. And I, I'm excited to see what other series are bringing us into um, the, the little nooks and crannies of all these characters.